Hey, welcome back to theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Again, that website is theclinicaltrialsguru.com. It's extremely crazy out here. I'm on at one of my clinics standing outside. So there's some monitors inside, and I don't want them to be weirded out that I'm videotaping them or anything. So I'm outside in the parking lot, and you'll hear a lot of noise. But I've been getting questions today about how do you utilize social media better if you're a research clinic or a research company? How do you use Instagram? How do you use Twitter? How do you use Facebook? And a lot of people probably already know how to use Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, but I'm talking about how do you use it for your brand? And do you have to humanize your brand in any way um, to use to have better success with these social network platforms? My answer is yes. Just like you would use Instagram or Facebook, think about the stories and the stuff on Facebook and on Twitter, on LinkedIn, um, although this is for study participants, so you probably won't be using LinkedIn, but um, Instagram, think about the kind of stuff that you actually like, the things that you double tap, the things that you hit the thumb up button for that you'd like, uh, the things that you actually pay attention to on Twitter. Guarantee you, they are not just spam, they're not just links uh, being posted on these Twitter streams that you're looking at. They're stories, they're interesting things that kind of captivate you. So use, use these social networks like you would expect to use it yourself. Post the kind of things you like. If you like pictures, post pictures, use hashtags. Don't just put the same thing all over and over again saying X, Y, and Z research clinic is dedicated to conducting trials for depression. Don't put that constantly. That, the, that's called an ad. People don't go on Twitter, on Facebook, or on Instagram to look at ads all day long. You can sprinkle those in there, but use, speak like the natives do. So if you're on Twitter, pay attention to how people are using Twitter, pay attention to how you use Twitter, and then start tweeting like that from your brand. Uh, same thing with Facebook. Don't just post things constantly about what your clinic does and how many patients you're looking to enroll. There's a time and a place for that, but post interesting stories from the community, post pictures. You can even be funny. It's okay to get out of your shell a little bit uh, if you really want eyeballs. And at the end of the day, that's what we're in it for is the eyeballs business. Same thing with Instagram. You can post pictures. People have found ways to post pictures of what studies they're doing. They have little graphics that they post saying, we're doing a study for this indication. Please call us here. Those are fine, but if you really want to get engagement and you really want to build trust and potentially get more study participants to your clinic, you want to start using some of these applications like the natives do and just start posting random things. The other day I posted a picture of a gallon of water because I'm drinking a gallon of water a day with the hashtag clinical trials, clinical research. Guess what? That picture got way more likes and way more comments even than when I posted pictures of with a link on it of check out my latest blog post. Uh, people want to see that you're a human being. They want to know your story. They're curious about you. Don't be so quick to drive everyone to your website. It's okay to make the connection on the platform itself. So this is an example with Facebook and Twitter. Don't just put links all the time. Engage with people, interact with people on those actual platforms. Um, who cares where you convert them, where you end up converting these people to join your study, whether it's on your website, or on Facebook or on Twitter. The point is just to get that connection and to actually recruit these people for your study. It doesn't matter where you do it. It doesn't matter whether they sign up on your website or whether they're interested in learning more about you from Facebook or on Twitter, as long as you do it. So to be successful on these platforms, you've got to use the platforms the way everyone else uses them. And just because you're a brand doesn't mean you should use it differently than a regular human being. That's my two cents. Again, it's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but I've had success doing this in the past. Definitely much more on this in the future. If you want a lot more information on this topic, check out my How to Recruit Clinical Trial Study Participant book, Kindle book. It's only $2.99 on Amazon right now. How to, re how to Recruit Clinical Trial Study Participants. Thanks a lot, and uh, much more videos on this later on. Take care.